water. That's water. <laughs> Mark hit with the water. <laughs> I don't know what it was. We hope there's the water <laughs> in the bus. <laughs> So we shut the window. Right. Look at our new friends. I'm trying to eat my ice cream here. We decided there's no unsexual way for a man to eat an ice cream. This one kid in front of me in the glass is taking pictures. I was in the back of his selfies and I was trying not to look like... <laughs> so I was like, how can I eat this ice cream without looking like... <laughs> you know what we mean. Yeah, like this. <laughs> No. Why can't I keep my fingers off it, baby? I want you. Nah, nah. Okay. I didn't bit it. It was not sexual. And I got hit in the face with water. With a water balloon straight in his face. Hilarious. The windows in the bus are usually all open, but for some reason, everyone else had their window closed except us. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was leaning up on the seat in front of me and like sleeping, and then I just felt like water on my back. <laughs> and I looked back, and his whole like face and his shirt, it was all wet. It was hilarious. Some damn sharpshooter kid. <laughs> Chucked a balloon or something, and it went right through the window, hit me in the side of the face, exploded, <laughs> put in my friggin' mouth. I'm hoping it was water, some mystery fluid. The guy in the next seat over, he apologized. He's like, I'm sorry, it's a holiday. <laughs> so lucky, you, d you were just like, just know, like with your head down, I know. and I just took the brunt of it <laughs> for you. Yeah. I was so surprised. Then I was like, kind of embarrassed because <laughs> I didn't want to wipe it off. I just pretended like it didn't happen. <laughs> Sit there with my wet shoulder, my hair, water in my mouth. <laughs> so, anyways, we're in Cebu City now. Our flight is in, I don't know, eight hours. We're probably going to catch an Uber to the airport soon. If my phone works. <laughs> 7-Eleven is hopping here. Mm -hmm. Everyone's buying 40s and sharing. We're killing ice cream and hot dogs. So the time has come. I am going to take my phone out of the rice and turn it on. It's going to work. I know it. Here we go. Good sign. Is it supposed to always take this long? Yeah. Maybe because it's never been off that long. <laughs> yes. Are you happy? Uh, yeah. Update. The phone is working, but now that it was at 8% battery, I went to go charge it, and the charger wouldn't go in. There is a little piece of rice stuck in <laughs> the charging area. Like in this hole. Okay. Let's do some surgery. <laughs> you can see half of the white rice speck. <laughs> Good job, you got half of it out. Did you get it? Oh, it came out. I felt it hit my leg. Oh, it's flying everywhere. <laughs> Damn, you should be a surgeon. There's the culprit. Half of it. 3%. Alright, it's working. So it is almost 12.30 in the morning. We cannot check in until 2.30 or 3. And our flight board's at 5. So we're sitting on these nice comfy benches. They're not comfy at all actually. It's gonna be a nice two and a half hours. It is 6.15. So we have to get to Niagara 
Mataclan Court, rides across 50 pesos per ticket. We have to pay for environmental fee, which is 75 pesos, and then the terminal fee, which is 100 pesos, and then whatever ferry we want to take. It looks like it was dragged in poop. Good. Can we rub it on your face? Don't. Otherwise, I'm gonna rub my poop on your face. <laughs> Wait, there's a trike. Don't go. No, I see. What would you do if I wasn't here to save you? Okay, ready? On your mark, get set. Just kidding. Not yet. It went right there. Oh, your freaking huge bag is blocking the way. I can't see anything. That's what she said. Wait, that's you. <laughs> what? The huge bag is blocking. Go. Go, go, go. There's a speed bump there. We ran into this nice lady. She's showing us the shortcut to the hostel, Ericos. Save us some time carrying these big bags. It's not bad. Air conditioning. I had a big bed, so Mark doesn't touch me. Oh, I'm gonna touch you, all right. <laughs> I don't know, my brain hurts. Okay, this was a thousand pesos or twenty dollars a night. Yeah, so we got here this morning. The lady, she walked us down to the beach, so we decided to walk all the way down to station one. We finally made it to Borakai. It's now like 7.30 in the morning. We just did 13 hours of travel, which included seven forms of transportation. It was so... I'm gonna try tajo. tajo. Soy based Soy. something. <laughs> Tapioca. And sweetness. It doesn't look great, but it's okay. It's not gross, but probably won't have it again. Like, kind of tastes like an oatmeal. Little tart sweetness to it. I don't know. Yeah, worth a shot. It was only 30 pesos. And we're gonna take a nap now because we haven't slept all night. We pulled an all-nighter. How long did I sleep on the plane? 45 minutes. Man, not even an hour. And then you had, did you sleep at all at the airport? Not really. So battery's dying. We'll see you tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe. And anything else you wanna say, Amanda? Peace. Okay, I decided not to end it quite yet. <laughs> I was just being lazy because we're really tired and seeing like seven of everything can't think straight it was a heck of a commute to get here we took what was it you said seven different things if i counted right i don't know though haven't slept it's but like planes trains and automobiles like so much shit. seriously bus to an uber to a plane to a uh, tricycle. tricycle to a ferry to another tricycle yeah so it's 13 hours total of travel 
The beach is really beautiful. It has got these really nice palm trees. The water is beautiful. It's really packed with tourists. At seven in the morning, it was already packed. So we're gonna try to beat the crowds tomorrow and go out at eight as opposed to 10 a.m. Hopefully that works. <laughs> I just feel like a zombie. We were recommended to try a local dish here. I had the and long, long salon. <laughs> <laughs> so long, long, but uh, the deep fried di the dong salag. I don't know what I'm saying. So long. <laughs> Ding so dong so long. long. That shit was good though. It reminded me of stuff my mom used to cook when I was little. It's like the fried fish, and it's not they're not supposed to be bones in it. There's little tiny bones, but you can eat them. I'm just kind of a wuss. Like when I get them caught in my throat, I sound like a cat with a hairball. <sighs> A day is not complete in the Philippines unless you have a mango shake. Oh yeah, the place we had breakfast was 928 Cafe and Grill, but don't bother with their mango shakes because they're not really that delicious. I mean, it's a mango shake. How bad can it be, right? Too tired to even drop an F-bomb. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> did you see it? I did. You saw how cut it yeah, was? I like felt it. <laughs> You're gonna feel <laughs> this! <laughs> You're so full of shit. I love you. I love you too. Ready to go to bed? Yeah, I'm ready to change. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Never fails. Boys and drones. <laughs> so we took a three hour nap earlier today. Got up and really just walked around. Mark is thinking about getting a tattoo. Not 100% sure of what he wants. He has an idea. We talked to two artists and still kind of unsure about it. Now we are watching the sunset. It is beautiful. There are so many people here. This has by far been the most touristy place we have been. It was worse than Ubud in Bali, which everyone had warned us about. Every second, someone was asking if we want to go on a on a cruise or island hopping or I don't know, whatever. Everyone's trying to sell something. This is the low season. I can't even imagine what it's like during high season. But this view is still unbelievable. It's, it looks fake in a way. Then with all the sailboats, it's just it's amazing. We're so lucky. It's our last couple days in the Philippines for now. We're really just trying to take it all in, kind of just chilling. And I think that's it. We're gonna try to get up tomorrow for sunrise and then we're going on an island hopping tour and then Mark may get a tattoo. Thank you.